education. It's a week of cameras in the classroom for one Central Indiana high school. A TV crew from South Korea is in town following students around. Our TV6 reporter Ann Kelly finds they're taking a closer look at something most of us take for granted. The TV crew works for KBS, the Korean Broadcasting System. Think PBS here. And that lens, it's aimed right at Connie Brom, a senior at Ben Davis High School who is doing something unheard of in South Korea. Connie is a student athlete working hard in the classroom and as a runner for the high school's track and cross country teams. Being a student athlete has really helped me in school because it's taught me how to work with other people and it's taught me valuable lessons in time management and I don't think I'd be the student I was if I didn't have a background in sports. Felix Kwan, a member of the four-man crew from KBS, saying that is exactly what they want to show through a two-hour documentary set to air in December. How it's possible to do both, an idea not social accepted in South Korea where students are either pressured to study 12 hours a day or train to become a professional athlete. That's one or the other. One or the other. So like there's no other options for them. So like that's what we want to uh, try to change. It. it really just shows you how devoted they have to be to uh, what they pick and um, I think it's really tough to decide that at such a young age. Varsity quarterback Kyle Kastner also featured in KBS's documentary. They followed him around at Friday's football game, where Quan said he was amazed at the community support. You know, that's very motivating. That's very motivating and that's very encouraging uh, in a moment that I was very jealous of. A moment he hopes will someday be possible in South Korea, in part thanks to this documentary featuring Ben Davis students. Ann Kelly, RTV6. And by the way, the KBS crews picked Ben Davis High School for their documentary because Quan has a local relative who recommended the school.